Welcome to the channel with your friend Blessed Row. Southern cooking is the best, that's one thing we all know. Most comforting meals that everyone will love. Join Blessed Row, her cooking comes from the good heart. Recipe so good, you just might get hooked. Join now, Blessed Row cooks. Hey y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get started making our crock pot stew beef slash beef stew, whichever one you like to call it. My crock pot is actually already hot. I was making some turkey necks. Actually, I cooked some turkey necks in this crock pot last night. I had them on overnight and I'm gonna use them in my collard greens. Let me show you my turkey necks. I'm gonna use them in my collard greens and I'm putting those in my bigger crock pot. These are my turkey necks. I moved them to the bowl. And once I finish putting my beef stew on, I'm going to go ahead and put my collard greens on. And I'm cooking them with some turkey necks today, y'all. So that's why I got this beautiful turkey neck broth for our collard greens. So let's get back to the beef stew. Okay, so I am not going to brown this beef stew today. I am going to put it in as is, and it's going to get brown. Anyway, we're going to cook it. I'm going to show y'all how we're going to do it. So let's get started. I have me some recipe secrets, aka Lipton onion soup mix. We're using a beefy onion today. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. We are by our window today. And we have some light coming in from the window on this side. Hopefully it's not distracting. But anyway, beef stew. I mean, not beef stew, beefy onion. I already have my meat. Look at that gorgeous meat. The meat looks good. So we're going to put our meat in. Put And like I said, this crock pot is hot. It's still plugged up. You might see the cord in the background. I have a lot of meat. Uh, this is this costs nineteen dollars. I think this is about hmm, maybe over three pounds. I'm gonna add some black pepper. I'm gonna add some garlic powder. And I'm gonna mix this in. We're gonna go ahead and add our lips and soup meats. And we have uh, some golden mushroom soup. We're gonna use this. I like using the condensed soups, y'all, because they help to add like a little thickness to it, a creaminess. So that's why I like using them. 
And you can use any cream of soup. But you can omit it if you want to. I recommend the golden mushroom, the cream of mushroom, or the beefy mushroom. One of my friends actually told me that when she worked at an assisted living or a nursing home, she said that they would use a cream of soup for the gravy. Like you take a cream of mushroom soup and then they would add a little bit of water or broth to it. So they got to a thickness consistency of a gravy and they will use that for the rice. So you actually can use the cream of soup for gravy if you don't know how to make gravy. I have tried it before. It does work. Now I'm adding in some beef broth. I have a lot of meat today and I'm also going to have potatoes and carrots. So I can use regular beef broth. But if you don't have a lot of meat and if you're not adding in potatoes or carrots, then you may want to use low sodium beef broth. You can always add in more salt, but you can't take it out. I'm adding a little of my beef broth to the can and I'm just going to stir that around in the can. I'm going to go ahead and add that in too. I don't want to make it too salty, but once your meat gets done, you can taste it. And if you feel like you need to add some more salt, go ahead and add it. So next, I'm going to add my vegetables. If you like celery, now's the time to go ahead and add you in some celery, but I won't be using celery today. I have an onion cutting up a pear knife. I'm slicing this onion right in the pot. This is like a small onion, y'all. You can dash your onion. If you are not used to using a paring knife with your onion, don't use it. Go ahead and slice it on a... <laughs> What's the name of the thing? Go ahead and use your slicer. Slice it on a counter. Slice it on a what? A cutting board. Slice it on a cutting board. <laughs> Woo. Okay. We're gonna mix our onions up in here. And I'm gonna add me some carrots and white potatoes. Not that many carrots or white potatoes. My family actually prefers raw carrots to cooked carrots, but I like carrots cooked into my stew beef slash beef stew. So I have some. Plus they look good. Don't they look good? Even bro, don't this look good? I'm gonna cook my beef stew on high for three hours. If you do not have this much beef stew, and if your beef stew is not cut about the same consistency as mine, then you probably don't need to cook it as long as I'm cooking. Check your beef stew at about two hours. You do not want to overcook your meat because your meat can look as juicy as it wants to and it can be in a pot of gravy you can have a pot of beef stew but if you cook beef for too long it's gonna dry out your chew will be dry and you do not want a dry chew you want it to be juicy and delicious like mine was my meat is tender my vegetables are tender everything is good and ready and everything tastes delicious this is a time where you can adjust your saltiness if you feel like you need to add more salt go ahead and add you some more salt mine was delicious but i do want my gravy a little bit thicker so i'm going to make me a cornstarch slurry and i'm going to add it in so that i can thicken up my gravy i took some cornstarch and i put a little bit of the gravy from the 
crock pot in there. Probably got onion in there too. Anyway, I mixed it up and made a little slurry. And now I'm gonna pour this in the crock pot to thicken the gravy. This is gonna help thicken the gravy some more. The gravy is a good, you know, you can use it already as a gravy. It's just gonna thicken up some more. It's already thick enough to be a gravy, actually. We're gonna let it thicken up some more and we have a good thick gravy. Food is ready. Look at how delicious this plate looks. This is my husband's plate. This is what we had for dinner, our entire dinner. Everything on this plate was good. If you like to see more videos of my delicious cooking, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Have a blessed and beautiful day. And remember to always put God first in everything you do. Join me again next time on Blessed Row Cooks. Bye. Watching Bless Roll, Bless Roll.